here I am standing on my own, no one by my side, only weaker men have tried, none have reigned victorious, I will be just fine. Well, I think we're actually online right now. Thirty seconds. Okay. What? Are, okay. So we've got freight trains to here. Ten seconds. He he had to go to the restroom. So we've got freight freight train Sahara on our right and rejects on our left, and it looks like they're both doing aggressive, nice red zone move there, but he didn't get the buzzer. Not quick enough. A little bit slow. All right, so Freight Train Tejera on the right side of the field here as the Rejects making their way up into that 50, that 50 bunker there. Yeah, we just had Dirty make a run for the uh, buzzer, and he, but he didn't he didn't get there in time. Oh, uh, so his coach is calling for it. Yeah, so Robbie Goldsmith on the side here, the uh, coaching staff is just screaming, you need to get closer to the buzzer, man. That's the name of the game here. So for those of you, if this is your first time watching Red Zone, well, welcome to the AFPL. This is our bread and butter here. Now, Red Zone, as you can see, there's a nice buzzer right in the middle of the field here. The name of the game, obviously Red Zone. The point is to try to get to that buzzer. If they hit it just like that, then that team is awarded two points. So whenever you hit that buzzer, any dead players you have also come back onto the field. As Lexi was trying to get back into the middle of the field to get her team a couple of points, but unfortunately they had to concede before the rejects. Um, we're able to go up two to nothing, so or four to nothing. So it is, I believe, three to nothing now in favor of rejects. But freight train, I mean, they've been playing this longer than anybody else, haven't they? Well, a, f a few of the members yeah, a lot have, of those yeah. Guys have been playing because uh, let's see, two, I think three of their members uh, were original Red Zone players along with myself. Yeah. And and Pineapple, my daughter. Thirty yep. Shout out, Piney. I got your dad. Ha ha ha. <laughs> No, it is good to see you again, uh, man. I'm glad you made it yeah. up. That was a nice surprise. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad I did, too. Well, yeah, what was really surprising was uh, the looks on people's faces when they'd see me and not know who I was. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not used to the shaven? Yeah, not, not used to the cleaned up version. Ten seconds. All right, so I believe it is currently three to nothing in favor of the rejects as Freight Train Sahara is going to try to make a nice move up the gut here. See if they can get something going together. And here he goes right for the – oh, nice in the 50. Nice, Match him up. Nice, Looks like he was able nice to peel him off. He's got to go. If he goes now, he can get it. If he goes now, he can get it. Nicely done. And he very stayed nice in. Up he did not get hit. Very unusual. Nice. Oh, was not able to get all the way back to it. But I might have heard a uh, concede, so I think we're tied up. Yeah. Yeah, so again, the nature of that, if you can get to the buzzer, your team is awarded two points. Correct. And all of the players on your side of the field who have died are come able to in. respawn and come back in. Correct. Yeah, so on these matches, when they go for a long while, if you start getting people, like if you start getting buzzers stacked on upon each other, it's just mm -hmm. constantly running back and forth, it, running up those scores. It's really it intense. And, and the thing so about it is, it, three to three yeah, right now. And, and you can't concede unless you only have one person left on the field either. Exactly. So, so you got to be careful. Yeah, so if there's two out there and they just keep recycling to the buzzer, Nothing they, you can do about it. there's not a thing you can do about it. I know. we got I got caught in a game like that a few years ago oh, and it's, stuff, oh, and, it's, it's, and it's it was rough. Frustrating. That was, yeah, especially when it's uh, we're doing the three-man version right now too. So it looks like uh, looks like we've got a timeout on the field. But you know what? That all comes with awareness, though, too, on a field. You know, where where's your players at? Your coaching too. Your coach mm -hmm. you need to pay attention to your coach. Too many times the players are out there. They get they get too focused and Tunnel stuff. Vision. They're not 
Yeah, yep. and they're not listening to their coach go, hey, stand up, stand up, so that you do get hit, yep. so that I can concede. Well, um, even there was times that um, when I was playing with Tim Cerruti, I think it was my first red zone event, we had our coach ended up arguing with the refs, and there was no, we were all dead. Right. Nobody was left on the field, and they were just standing there hitting the buzzer. Yeah. We only lost by one point, but the coaching is probably even more important than uh, than any playing position on that field. You you have got to control the game. Exactly, exactly. And uh, you know what? And it's, it's really not all about the. The, the the coach yelling out positions or anything like that it's uh it's it's about the it's the, timing the, it's timing it's timing and and the players actually um, uh, paying attention to the coach paying attention to him and stuff so, because he can stand out there and yell all he wants to but if if you're not listening to him it's not going to do any good all right so actually this is. I think the first time this might have actually happened during an AFPO game, I've got parabolic five barrels on both sides of the field right now. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I got Goldsmith using a set. He bought his set a while back, and then uh, Lexi's been using those for a while. Oh, no, yeah. she switched guns. Oh, no, that, no, no, she's in the back. No, she's still got it. Yeah, she's still got it. That's interesting. No, it is, it is a very interesting time. It's fun to start seeing these things all over the place, too, because for a while I would go months without seeing them on a the field or getting any pictures, and now it's like every day I get tagged. Yeah! Making it happen. That's good. So are your barrels strictly for uh, speedball, or can they be utilized in... Uh... Actually, I heard um, a few months ago a, a guy accidentally bought them for his brother, seconds. thought that he was into speedball, so they put them on his die dam. Turns out they're fantastic for first strike. I did not expect to hear oh, that feedback, cool. but now he won't shoot anything else. What, what, what's the threading on it? Well, the threading I have them available in Auto Cocker A5 and Lux, but right now the action's at the center of the field as um, Freight Train making it up into the into the middle. It looks like nobody was able to award points as they both traded out at the center of the field there. All right, so still 3-3. Three to three. There's only a few seconds left in this match, though. So it's really going to be whoever concedes is going to take it unless time runs out. And oh. if time runs out, Buzzer. nobody's going to oh. concede. And so home conceded anyways, and that'll be the end of the match. Who is home? Home, uh, that would be the rejects conceded. Oh. Yeah, that yeah. was a mistake. Yeah, that was a mistake. A he should not. He should have been. And see, and that's another thing with the coach. The coach, needs to, pay, the coach needs to pay attention to the, to, to the clock, too. Yeah, two seconds left. I mean, then again, they were kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. They would have been down by two. Yeah. You can't come back from that. Now they're down by one. They're not going to be able to make it to the buzzer. No, no. Um, but they'll probably go out guns There's, up. They'll come out Might guns well. up, but there's not going to be a concede out of this one either. Mm -mm. No, it's looks like, uh, you know, the rejects, i got to say, they are really coming into their own right now, especially beating so, a very so experienced. What are we looking at, a tie right now? No, I, no, it looks like uh, Freight Train. Freight Train's up by one? Yeah, I think Freight Train's up by one. Ten seconds. Hey, there's Two seconds. Yeah, so two seconds left. And it looks like the score is going to be 4-3 to three in favor of Freight Train Sahara with three guns up, doing little to no. Ooh, nice big run up the side of the field, though, as uh, now, Sanchez got destroyed now, trying now, to race to that buzzer. Now, I've got a question for you. Mm -hmm. If you notice there, they uh, sent two guys forward without their, without their markers. Yeah, you don't have now, to start with a gun. That's a change then, because it used to be that you had to start with your gun. Really? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. I think since I've been uh, since I've been working for him, we haven't. As long as you don't start with it, you don't have to bring it. But if you start with it, you can't leave it and run. Right. So there is there's no discardable equipment. But yeah, for runners like that, you don't have to start with your gun if you're trying to get up to the middle of the field there. All right, so let me go ahead and get this shared. Again, guys, make sure to like and share these posts. We're trying to get as much attention to us as possible as John's new toy, the drone. Looks like he's getting something set up, or maybe he's just getting out of the way. But that'll be a lot of fun for later on today, as I'm going to go ahead and share this to How Big Is Paintball? Another big group of paintballers, a really big community out here on Facebook. I'm sure most of you guys are already members of it. And I'm sure you've seen my spam for my new jersey collection coming out based on Conor McGregor's Really funny suit. Underneath the ground begins to shake. My heart it beats strong. The crowd is not. 
not afraid.